don't think we need it just yet, but we are going to probably want to equip that lung to avoid the poisonous vapors. I think we might need it up here. Yeah, we do. So, hmm. Take the tongue off. Yeah, we'll switch our tongue for a liver. Now we can jump up here and grab that. was a long while ago, but we were in this area, and we couldn't get through here because of that porcullus. Now there is stuff to check out down here, but I want to go here and here. going up. Should be just a straight line to where we want to go. So yeah, at the bottom, we'll go get that one first. Ouch. So yeah, we couldn't reach this because we couldn't jump high enough. But now we can. And we get the severed hand. Okay. A severed hand that tightly grasps a broken bell, sometimes afflicted by slight spasm. The affliction sometimes leaves its mark on mundane-looking objects, unable to reveal the mantle, un unable to reveal the miracle under its mantle of corruption. As soon as the atrocities, earth tremor was heard. They knew something dreadful had happened. They searched for their master in the deepest parts of the cave where they were met with a gigantic dust cloud that extended far beyond their eyes, and even though they called the name of their master, there were no answers. Days went by until the cloud cleared and they could face the devastating consequences of the landslide, feeling hopeless, but suddenly amidst their tears they heard a faraway sound. Okay, so I think we want to bring that hand uh, back to that spirit in the dream. We'll find out in a minute. First we're gonna go up here. Oh come on. wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Alright, so another Moonchild. 
got almost all of them. Only 13 more. And in here we find... Zambra to the Resplendent Crown. So let's look at that. A hymn intoned to the rays of the sun would generously bathe in the darkest of places. This blessing increases the tears harvested by the mea culpa for a while. Many yearn for these reminders of the miracle, but greed can prevent them from recognizing what truly matters. So this is a good one. While we have this activated, we will earn more tears. So we're going to use that when, uh, when I don't need to teleport away. But the first thing we're going to do is remove these markers. So we got something down here. Don't think we can do anything with that yet. Nothing up here. Nothing over this way. So we can either keep going down here, which I think is what we're going to do, or we can head back over here. And we're going to need to head back over here eventually. Oh, you almost got me. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, though. So yeah, this spell goes for a good long while. So I will try to remember to activate it, so that way we can get more money off of these enemies. And mo maybe we can power up our equipment sooner. Try this way first. All right, ends up it didn't matter. Oh, there are bodies here. Let's talk to them. We'll switch nail for the shroud. Half do not return. Everyone passes. And click. So we are now in a new area. Well, new is not exactly the right word. We're gonna need to put our tongues back on. Alright, so this is an interesting area. These portraits on the wall here are enemies. Now, we have encountered that one. Those kind of bullheaded figures that throw spears at us. And we've encountered something similar to that. The walking sarcophagi. But that one, we, we haven't found that one just yet. And this big lion-headed dude, we have not seen him either. What we can do is we can take this chalice. The chalice of inverted verses. Now we're going to actually leave it there because there's a special uh, side quest we can do with that chalice. I thought we would leave it there, I was wrong. A rusty iron cup of simple appearance. Its interior is embossed in lack lackluster silver and depicts rows of spiral verses, which descend to the bottom. These, rim these rhymes speak of pagan beasts and forbidden fruit. But Father, where are all the idols, paintings, and statues that the mother has seized and banned? If they were inspired by faith in our miracle, they should not have been destroyed, for it would be a grave sin. I don't know, dear son, but I would bet my faith that those underground galleries hide more than air. So this is a special mini-quest that we actually can't really do right now because we can't get to those enemies. 
but we'll save it for a little later. And what about over here? Well, we gotta put our toenail back on. It's not a toenail, is it? I think it's a fingernail. Oh, that rat! He ran into the wall. The hybrid bone of Cynex the Beggar. Cynex spent a lifetime fleeing pain, which caused more and more suffering to his tormented soul. Only when he accepted pain as part of his life did he find a meaning to it. Because, oh, well, what do we have here? Play a game in exchange for 2500 Uh, no. So we found the Blasphemous Arcade game, just uh, hiding in a wall back here. And there are some reasons to play it. We're not going to play it right now because it's expensive. But we should mark it. What would be a good marker for an arcade game? What do you think? Let's go with this. How about this red stone right there? Actually, I don't think there's anything else I want to do down here. So let's teleport. Where are my prayers? There we go. Alright, we did find some bones, so we could deliver those. Now, I think you want the hand. Let's see if I'm right. There we go. At the time of its death, before the journey, the miracle kissed the hand of the master, stopping the corruption of the flesh and granting him a new grace. In the name of the high wills, I bless this relic. Watch over it, for it is now pure and sacred. And we got the incorrupt hand of the fraternal master. And this is a new relic. Sacred relic in a perfect state of conservation. The hand shakes gently when it is when it considers it's necessary, secretly articulating by ethereal muscles and tendon. The bell that it's holding warns the wearer of nearby presence of a mystery. After all, no bastion is safe from the tenacity of the truly curious. So this is a fun one. If we have this equipped, it will tell us when there are secrets nearby. Okay, that is not new. Okay, put the tongue back on. Okay, how you guys doing? Time outside these walls passes by, but if your penance how sorrowful be the... No, nothing new from you guys. You haven't closed your door yet. Anything new? No. Since this window is not closed, there are probably more remains we need to find. How much more would you guys like? I mean, we racked up money pretty quick, and now that we have this new prayer, we're going to rack up even more. There you go, there's another 5,000. Oh yeah, I got some furniture in here, there's some more people. Tithing box has changed even more. I 
Oh yeah, we gotta give this guy his bones. There you go, buddy. The bones thank you for your help, O oh virtuous penitent one. Bring the bones before me. And we will uncover the truth that they keep silent. So let's head back. Let's see, do we want to be here? Or do we want to be here? Hmm. Here. Just how much more money we can make. First, we'll go up this way. Oh, now this looks like another cathedral. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, behold, gracious lady, her visitor. Oh, please forgive me, penitent one, who stand in the presence of Socorro, our pious lady of the perpetual agony. Isn't she majestic? She's a miracle in herself, unceasing, eternal. She suffers for all of us, day by day, with no rest, with no end. That sounds awful. She is our living miracle, a true example of holiness. She suffers. She yeah, you said that already. Do you have anything to say? Make an offering. End her suffering. Do we have any offerings? No, we have nothing to to uh, to offer. So we may have to come back here. Let's um. Let's put a little question mark here. go up there, so we'll have to go over here. Actually, we don't have to, but we're going to. We're making the choice to go here. Gotcha. we get? We got closer to a hundred, I think. Yeah. Now, if we could find ways to make it last even longer... Femur of Karpau, the Bounty Hunter. Karpau, nicknamed the Daring, the Daring, was a feared bounty hunter at the service of his, at the service of Bifork of Kostovia. Karpau had a cherished motto, get rid of everything and you'll have nothing to lose. 
Yeah, I don't think I particularly care for that motto. Good. I think that was like 130. All right, come on, you. Dealt with your kind before. I have witnessed the exhumation of the Archbishop. I have witnessed how they cleansed his bones in wine and then dressed him in silk and gold. I saw them place the most beautiful jewels on his face and kiss his forehead. I watched as they placed rings on his fingers and kissed his hands. They lifted him up, calling his name, and swayed him to make him look as if he was walking again. Whew, yeah, I had to read that one pretty quick, didn't I? fellas. I think it's almost boss fight time. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Okay, our sword is a little stronger. Can we afford it? Well, we can afford the sacred lunge, and I think that's it. Um, yeah, why not? So, do we want to go take on the boss? Or do we want to explore this area a little more? I think we're going to explore a little more. All right, well, the enemies are back. That just means we have more chance to make tears. That was better. Not perfect, but better. Here is going to be a challenge. What we want to do is wait for that to swing all the way back, and then we want to rush to the other side as fast as we can. Do any of the toes make me faster? Reduces dodging, increases dodging distance, and that helps with jumping. I could have sworn there was something that made us move a little faster. Actually, what we should probably do is get as close to that first uh, blood that first blood platform as possible. do is we'll wait for it to swing back, and the second it swings back is when we'll make our run for it. Okay. No lollygagging. We gotta be quick about this. Alright, now we gotta do it over here. Again, we gotta be quick about it. Because it's gonna whack us if we're not. Just like that. Come on, get up. I 
think we're gonna make it. Nah. And it hit us so hard it killed us. Oh, we were so close too. Okay, we'll just have to try again. And as always, if this ends up taking, like, forever, I'll just edit it out. fighting these fleas. Alright, so the second it comes back. Alright, go. whacked again, that's going to kill us. <laughs> Look where our guilt fragment is. That worked. We get the smoking heart of incense. This is another power up for Mia Culpa. Enhances the power and duration of prayers, but also increases the cost by one fervor bar. So we could put that on with our money making one. It will last longer. Okay. I think that's everywhere we want to explore here right now. So let's make our way back and fight the boss. Ow. Equip the Smoking Heart. Let's change our prayer. We'll go with the one that makes us attack faster. I like that one. Okay, this won't make a difference, but our beads will. So, which is the one that protect that you protect us from magic attacks? So let's put that one on. You protect us from harm while we drink from a flask. And that's what? More vitality and more fervor? Yeah, let's give that a shot. Alright. So boss fight time. Meliquatus, the exhumed archbishop. 
So, careful. Those, those big hands, they're going to whack us. Along with that, what is that, that morning star he's using on us. So, there's something interesting. It sure enough, it looks like a corpse that's attacking us, doesn't it? I'm not positive about that. I think it's more like a puppet. Because that, that one body was telling us how they were sort of puppeting him. So we want to get these hands. He's actually doing really good. I don't remember him being this tough. Alright, now we gotta attack that face. So we sort of, we, we beat the hands enough that they sort of drop the body and that's when we attack the head we're not doing too bad Good question. If they were puppeting him, how are they getting the hand to move, the finger to move, the jaw to move? I think these are all good questions. I don't have answers. Okay, I don't think we're going to get him this first time. I spent too much time screwing around talking about him. Doing pretty good, though. keep getting whacked like that, it's not going to work. And there we go. But I think we got him with this next go. Let's see if we're right. Okay, so this time there will be less screwing around talking about his, his hands more time attacking the hands. Come on, get over there. Standing in the perfect places to get hit. <laughs> oh, that was a bad spot. That was another bad spot. I'm not doing good. Maybe this requires a little more patience.
Come on, get out of that corner. first time trying to fight him. Okay, not too bad. Got almost three bars of health down. Got him down by more than half. Almost got him. Okay, I think patience and timing is going to be the key here. shenanigans. We should have been able to get him. He's got like only the littlest sliver of health. Riddance. 
So what was the point of all of that? getting dark. The point of all that was this. The deformed mast of Orates. 